Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Mack from Tampa, episode one of season three of Person of Interest. What a fantastic finale the last one was. Uh, let's not waste time, though. No. Let's get to it. Hunted by the authorities. I like the intro. We work in secret. Oh, you will never find oh, oh, oh. us. Oh, if your father had been smart enough to work with the cartel, you might have lived long enough to kiss her goodnight. Hey, what? <laughs> Figure out a way to save them except the mask is in. So we're all your friends. You gotta bump down? I'm fucked up. That's the worst thing that could happen, though. I think you might be the most fascinating woman I've ever met. Yeah, I bet you say that to all the girls. In fact, I only went out with you because of them. Hey, we can't even get these kills! What are you doing? <laughs> That's it. I'm not working with a lunatic. I'm out! You know how to find me. <laughs> Why don't we go someplace quiet and I can tell you all about <laughs> Ashley, let's go. I think the lady wants to stay. Screw you, Jarhead. Oh. I'm not a Jarhead. I'm a squid. But a tooth stick like you doesn't give a on which your hell breaks loose. And nobody wants that. I like this guy, Finch. He wants me to stay here, to work through some issues. And what issues would those be? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Ooh, it's yellow and black. <gasps> when did the Navy outlaw pastrami? See that phone booth? Just watch. I love that. Get your drink, man. Only if you stop calling me ma'am. He looks strikingly like feature. She's definitely got a type. No big deal. We'll celebrate tomorrow. I always skim in something, RJ. Get your hand caught in the cookie jar. Be back here in an hour. Can you do that? Look at her. I'll be back in 30. What, what are you talking about? Check the Cubans. Come alone. Fucking idiot. RJ stinks. We, uh, and yet you're lying to me. On the contrary. I've been completely honest. Is, uh, excuse me. Well, maybe not completely. Don't do this. It's not good for us to be separated. I hope you realize I'm trying to help you. Jesus, what's she gonna do? Escort our patient to solitary confinement. Oh. No contact. Now you see now. You done fucked up, you know that, don't you? Oh. Look, I'm, I'm sorry I got you into this, Jack. What? I haven't got to take this baby out for a test drive. Well, the Marines will have to fence the uncut diamonds. Locate the fence, odds are we can locate Jack. Where to now? Have another resource working on that. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> wow. Wow. What do you know? You've made a friend. It's 
speaking of, I can't help but notice that I haven't received a visit from Harold or John. Haven't told them yet, have you? Nope. Afraid they'd object to our little deal? It's officer now. Such a shame. I hate seeing talent go to waste. I could take care of HR and the Russians. Permanently. You know the shit's about. She got a lot. She's got a lot. Hold on, you can leave, Mr. Reese. I suggest you do so in a hurry. I've sent reinforcements. Who? Oh. Up to Lionel. What? Nobody said anything about confusing a bomb. Be careful. It's got a fail safe. If you try to cut the power source, it'll blow. So dig out the igniter. What? We don't renegotiate. Oh, terrible. How much for me to not put a bullet in your brain? Put your brain in your brain! I'm sorry. Are you guys close? <laughs> He's been a complete dick this episode. Not really seeing the future for you in conflict resolution. The Sue here? Just got your buddy killed. Goodbye. Champagne is not making to the table. Sorry. You should look happier, Harold. I Seriously. Am. It's just. I have a feeling things are about to get more complicated. The truth is, you are not very smart. In fact, you're only the 43rd smartest person in this building. Every standardized test you ever took averaged together, not including your medical boards, which you cheated on. The truth, is, the truth is that you visit a massage parlor once or twice a month, that you pay for it with crisp $100 bills. The truth is, God is 11 years old. But she was born on New Year's Day 2002 in Manhattan. The truth is that she's chosen me. I'm a little scared about what's going to happen. You should be scared too. But would you like... To know the truth, Doctor, about what we're arguing over, whether or not I'm gonna kill you. Five percent is rising. All right, that was episode one of season three of Person of Interest. First of all, you all know I love Shaw, so I'm glad she is back and and is in like the main fucking uh, credits at the the uh, opening package. Very happy. I really hope she is a steady part of the team, like Lionel, like uh, Carter. Completely fine with me. As for the episode of the week, uh, it was fine. It, it was good. I like the sailor guy. Um, I like the story of the Russians. I like how it played into the Russians versus Elias. I like that Elias's man fucking got the upper hand. I don't like Elias doing just good deeds. I do like Elias use doing good deeds. Which also benefit him, which this did, which is fantastic. And it's always his play, seemingly. Carter, what is she thinking about? Russians are more dangerous than Elias. 
I understand that. I don't necessarily agree with that. Maybe more chaotic. I don't know about more dangerous. Um, but hey, as long as Elias uh, keeps a low profile. Listen, I'm glad she did it because I, 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 Elias. I don't want to say he's growing on me. I still don't quite see it. But I'm starting to. It's not, it's not that I ever disliked them. It's that I didn't buy it. And now I'm buying in more. It's the best way to say it. Um, I actually, believe it or not, it might have been towards the end of last season. But I started to like, not like Ruth. Ruth started to not bother me. As a matter of fact, she was definitely her most, most enjoyable this episode. I feel like she's toned down the... I don't know what the word for it. Whenever I say craziness, people think I mean like a psycho. That's not what I mean. I just mean... Like Harley Quinnishness, that. And she just seems fucking dangerous. I, I don't know what's going on with her in the machine. Except the fact they're arguing about not to kill this guy. But I do like their relationship, strangely. Does that make sense? Does any of this make sense at all? I hope so. But I... I do enjoy what I think I'm starting to see in this season. Um, you know how I feel about Finch. You know how I feel about uh, Reese. Uh, Carter. Fusco. I'm ready. I'm just ready to see more. Sign me up. Anywho. Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.